Hi guys, me, MacBookGare15, Jalen here. Have another uh, Adobe Photoshop CS4 tutorial for you guys. Today we're going to be making an iPod Nano. Um, so let's get started. First you want to do is open Photoshop CS4. And you want to create a document of 500 by 950 pixels. And you can name it whatever. And you want to fill the background with any color that you want. I'm just going to pick black. And um, now you want to take your rounded rectangular tool and you want to set your radius at 2 pixels. And now you want to just drag out, drag out like that. And you want um, no style. So something like that. After that, you want to double click on your shape one. I'll put the gradient um, codes and stuff in the description for you guys to um, type in because there's more than one gradient. So after you're done with that, you want to have your style at reflect, and you want to have your angle at zero. Everything else is the same, so you should have something that looks similar to this. So now after that, we're going to make the button. Now you want to take your rectangular tool, and you want to just make a small little button at the top here. It doesn't have to be the best button, but it... It could be better than mine. So something like that, you want to have it at no style. And you want to um, double click on your shape too. And now you want to um, go to gradient overlay, which will be in the description for you guys to um, type in the codes. So after you're done with that, you want to have your style at reflect and you want to have your angle at zero. So click OK and now you have something that looks like that. Now what we're going to do is draw the screen. So take your rounded rectangular tool and set it at nine, pixel, at 9 pixels as your radius. Now we're going to just draw out our screen. something like this and you want to have it as no style so after that you want to double click on your shape 3 there's more than one that you have to do which will be in the description as well like I said
So after you're done with that, you should have something that looks like this. So now we're going to draw a second screen, which will be something like this. You want it to be at no style. So just plain black. Now you want to double click on this um, shape. And I'm going to put all of them in the description as well. So now you should have something that looks like this. Now you want to take your elliptical marquee tool and you just want to draw a circle. And after that you want to go to select inverse. And after that you want to take your foreground and make it white. And you want to take your paint bucket tool and just click OK and make this all white. And after that, you want to take your opacity all the way to about 4%. And now you should go to select and deselect. And you should have something that looks like that. Now we're going to make the button. So now we're going to take our elliptical tool and we're just going to make us a perfect circle. Something like that. And you want to have it at no style once again. So after that's finished, you want to click right up here on the cutout, and you want to make another, and it will cut it out for you. Something like that. After you're done, you're basically done right here. Um, I would draw the buttons, but I don't know how. I just know how to go from this far. So all you want to do, if you want to make it look more cooler, just get an image or whatever and um, place it on the iPod itself and um, here we go we're just going to get this image and we're just going to make it smaller and we're just going to stop that and we want to take this beneath in our layers So it should be something like this. This is how I made my iPod Nano. So yeah, me, MacBookAir15, Jalen here. Just comment, rate, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash MacBookAir15. And you can check out my website, www.macbookair15.com. See you guys later. Bye.